welcome to part two. I think this is the first part two, but part two, question of the day, yesterday talking about what is the gift of healing, how does it work? Today talking about do miracles and healings actually take place, right? What about, you know, I've never experienced a miracle. Um, do these things actually still happen? This is an argument that can come either from someone just curious on if they still happen, or someone actually saying, look, they don't happen. These things are actually ridiculous. These, these miracle stories in the Bible clearly show the Bible is false. Right? This is, I think, a debate with Richard Dawkins and, and other people have done it where he goes, you know, do you believe in the virgin birth? Do you believe Jesus rose from the dead? Yes? Okay, I rest my case, right? These are just nonsense stories. Well, first of all, miracles are only impossible if God doesn't exist. You have to presuppose God doesn't exist and then miracles are impossible. Yeah, if there is no supernatural being outside of the universe, then yeah, there are no supernatural acts of that being, miracles that take place inside the universe. But if God exists, miracles are possible, right? If God creates everything out of nothing, if the first verse of the Bible is true, that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, then all the other miracles are at least plausible. They're at least possible because look, if he can create everything out of nothing, can he make someone walk on water? Can he make an animal talk? Can he, can he bring someone back from the dead? Of course, he can start someone's heart again if he created people from nothing, uh, from out of the dust of the ground, right? So if God exists, miracles can, are possible. And so the question we sometimes have to go back to is, does God exist? And we can't let someone say God doesn't exist simply because miracles are ridiculous. But the other aspect that this question often comes from is, well, I've never experienced a miracle. And here's what I think is possibly happening. Right, it's kind of like a backwards like funnel, if I'm making that funnel, right? Here you have all things that are possible in the universe. And then a light, slightly smaller are the things that we believe are possible, right? Because there are things that are possible that I'm clueless about, that I don't even know about, that I have no beliefs about. But of the things I believe are possible, I experience a smaller percentage. All the things I know are possible, like it's possible to go to outer space, I've never experienced that, right? So my experiences are, are even less. Following our experiences, are what we've actually analyzed, the things that we've actually thought critically about and developed an idea and beliefs about. We have not developed ideas and analyzed all of our experiences. And then based on that analyzed idea or analyzed data is often our view of reality. And what we can often do is take our small limited view of reality and apply that to everything, right? Where we know for a fact that more things happen around the world than what we experience. But then we at the same time turn around and say, because I haven't experienced a miracle, therefore they don't happen. As if my experience is true for everyone. Look, in my lifetime, maybe I'll run into and hear stories of maybe 100,000, maybe a million people. Well, but a 7 billion people on the planet, that is a small fraction. That's less than 1% of stories that I'll hear that happen. Why would I assume that what I know and what I hear is true of everyone? But it's simply just not true to say the miracles don't happen. Craig Keener wrote a two volume set on miracles. Lee Strobel just put out the case for miracles. There are documented, medically documented and witnessed miracle accounts happening all over the world uh, in, in massive numbers. And so the statement to say miracles aren't happening is blatantly false. Maybe they haven't happened in my life, but again, that's not to say that what I believe applies to all. And in fact, we know it doesn't apply to all because we know miracles are happening all over the place from true reliable sources. And so we have to understand these are happening. Why aren't they happening to us? Maybe we're not praying for it. Maybe we're not trusting in it. Maybe there's other reasons, I don't know. But God still is doing miracles today as he was before.